Today we have the Gaja Classic. I borrowed this device from my brother-in-law and I did the first thing you should always do when you get a machine is I ran some water through the shower screen. It was really clogged and I took it apart and I started cleaning it and I found out why I don't like the design of the Gaja, which is also a similar design to the decent espresso machine or at least the decent espresso machine is a a uh, iteration of the similar design because it functions essentially the same I tore down the group head all the way to the water inlet so this sits on top of the diffuser which sits on top of the shower screen which is what you saw before so the water inlet is from the side, which was surprising to me. I thought it was from the center and went outward. And it's to the side, which means you're going to have some weird conditions going on. So now let's take a look at the uh, diffuser screen. So the diffuser screen, the water goes around a circle and then out through four holes. And then those four holes uh, are set on top of the shower screen. However, the water comes out a bit uneven, and depending on the conditions, it could come out uneven on the left or on the right. Um, part of this depends on your pressure and your water temperature. So this is how the water comes out. It slowly goes around the edges until it, it meets at the back edge and um, builds up full pressure and goes out all four holes. Uh, this is what the decent does as well. The challenge with that is that water, if it's at a higher temperature and higher pressure, it'll come out of the two holes on the right first, which is this case, more water is coming out. And I did some measurements to show that there's this unevenness of water. So one of the hacks you can do is you can turn on the steam wand to try to get it more even. Um, but again, this is more of just, I'm just turning on the, the water head and it, if it's, if water's coming out on even on one side, it, there's not really anything you can do once you hit the shower screen. So, um, I saw it in all my shots. It came out on even if I put the shower screen on, it still comes out on even, which means water going into the puck is uneven and it doesn't matter once the puck becomes fully pressurized, but when the puck is in this transient state of not being pressurized fully then the unevenness shows in the puck and it causes a big channel to the right or left side so going at full pressure on the gaja classic isn't advisable at six or nine bars whatever you have in for your spring um, so that there are some tricks you can do you know you can run the water and then turn it off you can turn on the steam wand to to drop the tank pressure um, and I did that and I could get some interesting shots and good shots, but um, there was still an unevenness in terms of the water flow during the shot. So I took the shower screen off again and I opened up the steam wand valve and you can see the water is going to come out the left side more than the right side. So when the pressure and temperature is lower, you will have uh, the water will, will come out of those holes because that's the, sl the, the, the shortest path. But when water is flowing faster, it moves around the edges first until it hits the, the holes on the backside and the two water streams run into each other. And what worries me about that as well is that it also causes a lot of water turbulence. Um, so you just don't know what's going on inside there. And the decent espresso machine uses a similar design but they change the, the water diffuser. But the main design concept of these two streams going around a central point is uh, the same. So I'll turn off the steam wand for a second and you can see flow restores. Um, and so I, I also took some measurements at this at, that I'll have in a later article where I, I looked at turning on and off the steam wand and on and off the machine at different temperatures because that affects how much water is coming out and of which side and and the the biggest problem is it's uneven and how do you even tell that it's even so a lot of the temperature surfing that i suspect a lot of gaja users do is trying to 
balance out this problem without even knowing that this is the problem they're, they're encountering. This is the decent um, water dispenser. And in a similar fashion, it goes around a circle before it goes into a bunch of smaller um, outlets, which I guess is a little bit better. And then it goes in this diffuser. And I'm not certain the diffuser is working like it should based on other data I have. Um, but I find this design problematic. And um, I feel like there's a lot of variables that are un explained or unaddressed like water turbulence. So my particular request is always for simplicity and I'd like to see water dispensers that are simple and even in how they dispense water.